Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is Built a Window, and you know what time it is. It's time for us to watch a boosting game and let a booster get away with a rank up that he doesn't deserve. I'm totally kidding. We're going to uh, I'm gonna report this. And we're gonna move on to the next case. But uh, I just wanna watch one more round, make sure it doesn't look like he's aimbotting, because you know, sometimes they do, which is kind of silly, because in this situation you really don't need it. But uh, takes one out. He's gonna double up. No, he didn't. Yeah, he looks legitimate. All right, but he is boosting, so we are going to report that as a griefing case. All right, so major disruption, aim assistance, insufficient, 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 and evident. Moving on. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time Wait a second. Didn't I just do one of these? All right. Anyways, suspect's gonna be making his way over here towards the long. He's only got one kill, 52 damage round, and he's got two deaths. Terrible freaking stats as of right now. Nothing that he should have been reported for. So something has to happen. And that was not what happened. All right, so he's gonna buy an AWP now. He's gonna make his way over here towards the middle. Let's see if he's able to do anything here. No, the answer is no. But he did get reported, so fingers crossed that we're not just watching this guy drop one kill. He's able to take down Stump here on Cat, but nothing shady about that. And his teammates are making their way up Catwalk as well. He's gonna go up with them. One guy is in CT spawn. See what he decides to do here. Nothing it looks like. Checks over towards sight. One guy in sight is taken down by Donkey. And uh, that's gonna leave three CTs left. Terrorists have a pretty close game going here, so I can't imagine he's just gonna toggle on. Not unless someone on the other team were to just toggle on or they were to just lose a bunch of rounds in a row all of a sudden. But that's not looking like it's gonna happen. As of right now, the suspect looks completely clean. Maybe someone on his team is cheating. We got Donkey with nine kills. It's a possibility, but nothing that's so blatant we can tell from this perspective as of right now. Flute's able to get a kill, and the terrorists are making their way over towards Long. The suspect's gonna grab the bomb here. Looks like he's gonna follow his team out Long. One guy does flank, is able to take him down, he's gonna throw the bomb down here and check over here towards sight. One guy's behind the box, tries to flick over and hit the shot, but he's not quite able to. Again, still nothing. Looks up there towards single box. Guy's gonna peek out right as he looks away, but he does get taken down by Woodpecker. His team is doing their job, they're all actually covering each other incredibly well. Guy pushed up middle, that guy was watching that flank so he didn't get behind them. This guy was holding as that guy pushed up on him. He was able to get that pick over here by double box. And only to get traded out a moment later because he doesn't expect the second guy to be up catwalk already. He's able to tag stump crossing middle, but still. Looked like it was just kind of lucky there. Looked like it was a little bit behind him. I'm not even 100% sure he was the one that got the tag. Watching catwalk, guy is pushing up. Slowly creeps out, really easy shot. He's just holding the angle. Watching towards long. His teammate gets tagged quite a bit. One guy is in T spawn, and I think he heard him earlier. Gets flashed here off of it. The guy is behind the box. Let's see if he knows he's there. He's gonna run around. See if he can get into a better position so he doesn't have to worry about it so much. Guy slowly creeps around, he's able to take him down, he's gonna leave one guy long, he hits a nice flick shot, this is probably the round he was reported for. Checks over towards middle, doesn't spot anyone out, and he's gonna continue through the doors here, check towards pit. He didn't actually check pit. But last guy's in sight, he sees his shoulder, he sees his head, and he's able to take him down. Kite went a little too aggressive there, in all honesty. He didn't really need to pick, peek the pit from up top there. I mean, he had control of the sight, he just had to kind of control it. He's 
He's gonna make his way over here towards the middle. One guy is about to cross the middle. Let's see if he knows he's there. He's looking to the left side. He does double scope it. A couple of these incidents here where he does kind of feel like he's watching the angle right before the guy peeks out. And, uh, you know, he scopes it a second time just at the right timing for it. Guy flanking them from Catwalk. He's gonna plant the bomb here. So he's gonna go down to Woodpecker. Suspect's gonna make his way over here towards middle. One guy crosses, two guys cross. Three. Takes a couple shots at the doors. Guy does peek. Tries to take a shot at him, isn't able to connect. It's a scout, so it's a pain in the ass, let's be honest. I don't care who you are, those scouts just move so damn fast. Is able to take down one of the CTs there. And now he's going to make his way over here towards Long. One guy in sight and one guy flanking here at Long. He looks back behind him, but I don't think he knows the guy's coming. His teammate's holding it. One guy in sight, he's got to go back and get the bomb. Donkey is able to take down Sparrow. Donkey might be walling, it's a possibility, but he could just be holding as well. But where the bomb was positioned, I would have probably tried to go and get it myself because I'd be like, you guys aren't taking it. Last guy's in sight and he's checking over here towards spawn and catwalk. He hears the shots, he's gonna come around, spots the guy out, easy shot, and he takes down Stump. Watches towards middle. That is smoked off. He takes a spam shot. A couple guys over here at long. His teammate's able to take down one of them. Another guy's going to push aggressively and take down flute. And he's going to try to fall back. His teammate's there to crossfire with him. Oh, the suspect is able to take down mass, but this guy up close almost, well, almost kills him. Luckily, his teammate's also there, and he's able to get that trade kill. So now we have a two on two. He's gonna be making his way up here from long. One guy in sight, he's gonna smoke off as if they were pushing up. They do have bomb down here. So Sparrow should have told his teammate that uh, bomb is down so he can't be going into sight yet. So you can see that uh, final CT is making his way up, uh, up long. Donkey gets taken down. Suspect's got 13 HP. And the last terrorist is AFK. Spots out Sparrow, he's able to take him down. That's gonna leave one guy left over at Long. He heard the shots, he knows where he's at. Let's see if he decides to go B, it looks like he is. Last guy at A, only has a Deagle. He's gonna be a little bit scared this round. He doesn't realize how much help this final terrorist has. But he's rotating now. It's a long rotation because it was all the way pushed up at long, so it's going to take a while. Meanwhile, the suspect's going to make his way towards back of sight. Gives him a great angle on tunnels. Not the greatest angle on doors or window, but he can see them and block out at least one perspective of the three, depending on how he moves around. So, as long as he hits the shot, he's fine. Guy comes in door. Sees him. Really good positioning on the way that he knew the guy came in. I think he saw him at first, and then he realized, like he looked up towards the window, but he, I think he realized that the guy had come in. Takes a shot in mid, is not able to connect. One guy right side of doors, and uh, the suspect takes a spam shot towards the door, doesn't connect with anyone. Checks towards back plat, doesn't spot the guy out, but now Mask has taken down one of his teammates, so he positions his crosshair in a good place. Guy runs into it. One guy holding doors right there, he's gonna make his way to his back of sight. Spots this guy, holding for now. And he is able to take down Kite with another headshot. Look at his headshot percentage. 
One guy window, holding the angle, another headshot. Two guys in, another headshot, crazy ass flick shot, another headshot, crazy ass flick shot. That was insane. That was insane. All right. Let's go towards uh, minor disruption griefing. Well, we got insufficient evidence here. Major disruption of other external assistance. Well, insufficient evidence here as well. Now, the next two, I know that we're going to have a split community on this one. And remember, it has to be evident beyond reasonable doubt. So first up, we're going to talk about vision assistance. And while there were a couple moments that looked a little out of the ordinary, where he seemed to scope right before the guy peeked out, or it just seemed like he was a little more aware than he should be, he did get caught off on a lot of other rounds. I mean, if he was toggling it on and off randomly, I can understand that he would become oblivious all of a sudden like that. But I just don't think he was using wall hacks. I think the way that he was shooting stuff and the way that he was aiming on places and stuff was looked very legitimate and his spam spots were very legitimate and not on point. So I'm gonna have to say insufficient evidence on this. And then we got a uh, major disruption aim assistance. And I was gonna say insufficient evidence, but that last round was pretty insane now, wasn't it? I mean, we still have to go evident beyond reasonable doubt is one round enough? I mean, those shots were insane. Uh, but were they impossible for someone to just hit like that? I mean, it could have been a low FOV aimbot. And I mean, you don't really need to use that with a uh, with an AWP because people typically flick shots, which makes it weird because he was missing a lot of flick shots earlier. He, not a lot, but he was missing some. And most of them were pretty solid regular shots that he was hitting until that last round. That was just an amazing round. And I'm just gonna have to chalk it up to saying it was an incredible round this time. Let me know what you guys think. Did I just let a cheater go? It's a possibility. But tell me down in the comments below if I screwed this up so I can make sure that I watch it more efficiently the next time and can make sure to make the right call. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, have a great day.